Hello again, everyone. Today's video is going to be a listening and following directions video. And the objective of this video is going to be me just, me and another colleague actually, reading off uh, a script to you and you listening and following the directions that are indicated on the script. So what I'm going to do is display this image here. And as always, you can either print it out if you have access to a printer, or you can actually just answer the questions accordingly. And uh, this is the primary goal of this is just like I said, it's just listening and following directions. I haven't really done anything like this before, so I thought I'd change it up a bit and do an activity that's different from my previous uh, videos. At the end of each part of the listening section, I'll have some questions that will help you determine how well you listen to uh, the video. Okay, so I will play the recording now and you may feel free to answer as you go along. Section A. Listen to the sentences and fill in the missing words. Number one. Stack the coins neatly, one on top of each other. Number two. Keep the palm with the coin flat on the table. Number three. This means that the extinct Giants may rule the earth again. Number four. Do you hear that? He asked them worriedly. Number five. Right behind them was a cliff. Number one. Stack the coins neatly, one on top of each other. Number two, keep the palm with the coin flat on the table. Number three, this means that the extinct giants may rule the earth again. Number four, do you hear that? He asked them worriedly. Number five. Right behind them was a cliff. Section B. Listen to the dialogues and choose the correct answers. Dialogue 1. How much money did you spend at Christmas, Peter? I bought a video game for my brother and it was about 200 yuan. I bought a dress for my sister. It costs me 260 yuan. Wow, you are so rich. What about you, Susan? I bought my sister a map of Shenzhen. It only cost me 2 yuan, but it is useful to her because she's coming to Shenzhen in two days. Questions. Number one. How much did Peter spend? Number two, what did Susan buy for her sister? How, Got, sorry. how much money did you spend at Christmas, Peter? I bought a video game for my brother. It was about 200 yuan. I bought a dress for my sister. It costs me 260 yuan. Wow, you are so rich. What about you, Susan? I bought my sister a map of Shenzhen. It only cost me 2 yuan, but it is useful to her because she's coming to Shenzhen in two days. Dialogue 2. What do you like best? Well, running and swimming. What do you like to eat? I like fish and eggs, but I don't eat any meat. Do you eat a lot of vegetables? 
Oh, yes. I love vegetables. Do you drink wine? No, I never drink wine or coffee. They are very bad for me. Would you like some milk? I drink a lot of milk. It's very good for my health. Questions. Number three, what are the man's favorite sports? Number four, what does he dislike? Number five, why does he drink a lot of milk? What do you like best? Well, running and swimming. What do you like to eat? I like fish and eggs, but I don't eat any meat. Do you eat a lot of vegetables? Oh, yes. I love vegetables. Do you drink wine? No, I never drink wine or coffee. They are very bad for me. Would you like some milk? I drink a lot of milk. It's very good for my health. Section C. Listen to the passages carefully and then choose the correct answer to answer the question. All year round, the children of the town had to look for firewood. Wood was important in winter. One winter day, the mother, Wendy, was cooking. Oscar, Brad, and his friend, Loki, were in her way. So she sent them off to find firewood. Wendy told the boys to be back before dark. The boys took their skates and went off. It was getting darker and colder. She began to wonder why the boys had not come home. Suddenly, she heard a cart coming along and then it stopped outside. A big man jumped down and lifted a shivering figure from his load of hay. It was Brad. The big man told everyone what had happened. There was a creaking, cracking sound, and Brad had suddenly disappeared under the ice. Loki tried to pull him out, but he could not. Oscar started to cry and shout for help. The man had been driving by and heard their cries. He dragged Brad out of the freezer, freezing water. Everyone was grateful to the man, and they all had an enjoyable evening eating together. Questions. Number one. What did the children do all year round? Number two. Wood was important to the town because... Number three, who is mom? Number four, who is their friend? Number five, the boys were told to be back before... Number six, what did Oscar do when Brad fell into the water? Number seven, what was the man doing when he heard the boys' cries. Number eight, write one word that describes the man who saved Brad. Number nine, how many characters are in this story? Number 10, everyone was to the man. Section C. Listen to the passages carefully and then choose the correct answer to the question. All year round, the children of the town had to look for firewood. Wood was important in the winter. One winter day, the mother, Wendy, was cooking. Oscar, Brad, and his friend Loki were in her way. So she sent them off to find firewood. Wendy told the boys to be back before dark. The boys took their skates and went off. It was getting darker and colder. She began to wonder why the boys had not come home. 
Suddenly, she heard a cart coming along, and then it stopped outside. A big man jumped down and lifted a shivering figure from his load of hay. It was Brad. The big man told everyone what had happened. There was a creaking, cracking sound, and Brad had suddenly disappeared under the ice. Loki tried to pull him out, but he could not. Oscar started to cry and shout for help. The man had been driving by and heard their cries. He dragged Brad out of the freezing water. Everyone was grateful to the man, and they all had an enjoyable evening eating together. Thank you once again for joining in today's lesson. Please message me through Facebook Messenger, or you can email me at jollyformore at gmail.com to learn more about my online tutorial service. Please leave a comment down below. If you know someone interested in hiring an online tutor, share this video. And if you would like to get a bell notification for all my newest videos, please subscribe to my channel. I look forward to seeing you again in my next video. And until then, please be safe out there. Have a great day.